Hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog. My name is Orion and I make videos every single Wednesday and Sunday and I post them at 6 p.m. And we are back at my nan's to convert the garage. However, before we start doing the garage today, we have rented a very big van again because in the back of here, we intend to load a brand new play area for this lad. Not only that, but we need to bring a, a rather large greenhouse as well from up the road where the house is valued at like two million pounds. Once that is all said and done, we need to come back here and open this thing, which should hopefully solve all of our dust issues because today I wanna lay down the floor. I have got some self-leveling compound, which I intend to use today. However, it's something I've never done before, so hopefully it goes well. Now I've done a fair bit of research, watched a lot of videos, and apparently it's fairly idiot proof. I will probably still find a way to mess it up. But when all is said and done, this should look brand new. However, as I said, we need to go pick up a play set, which needs to be deconstructed so it fits in the van. So grab some tools and hop in the van to see what we're dealing with. And oh my days, this house is massive. Would you just look at the size of this house? Holy moly. We've just had a little, little tour around the place and... Uh, seeing what we're doing and if we take a little walk around the garden what <laughs> there's a robot currently cutting the grass but around the back here is the first thing of two that we need to deconstruct today and i have to say as i walk into the back garden would you just look at the size of this place oh my lord it is absolutely stunning they are doing a lot of renovation work but as my mom braves the playset. This is what we need to deconstruct today to bring back to the house. Oh, my days have just noticed there's another robot gardener over there. Boy, could you imagine having this place to play and grow up in, let alone that house? What an absolutely stunning property this is, but we need to crack on because we are on a time limit and we've got to get the playset down and the greenhouse, which I'll show you guys later on. And in an effort to be productive, I'm going to time lapse it. So cue the music. That didn't work. So now we need to take it apart. Okay, we've mostly got it into pieces now. Hopefully it now goes in there. Now that we have got one half of the playset in the van, we're feeling ambitious and we're gonna try and get the second one in. And by this point, I think you've seen me move stuff enough. So we have now got it all in the back of the van and it all fits in there quite nicely, to be fair. It would have been nice to keep it intact because it saves a job later on. But honestly, that thing weighs a ton when it's all together. So taking apart was the best idea. I think after a good jet wash, this will actually look all right. But man, I am filthy. I'm so green. I'm as green as the grass. And now we have finally got it unloaded and it's all here in pieces. It kind of looks like scrap wood at the moment. I have a strange feeling it's going to be a nightmare to put back together, but we'll make do. And worst case scenario, we'll put it together how we want. But all of that is for a later project when we kind of landscape this area to turn it into like a play area. So if you've not done so already, I'd make sure to subscribe because this side's going to be really cool. I'm going to put the zip lines in and all sorts of stuff. But right, we need to hop back in the van because now we need to go take up our greenhouse. I'm thinking that this one will actually be easier than the play area. And unfortunately, we are running out of time on the, on the rental van and someone's rented it right after I return it. So we can't even extend, which is a bit frustrating. So instead, we're hoping we're going to be able to take it apart, flat pack it, and it should fit in the back of a car. Don't see why this isn't going to work, but let's roll the time lapse. Okay, time lapse interruption, uh, because halfway through, we have decided that it is probably not worth taking down. I managed to get most of the glass out of the roof and start taking apart from the top, but unfortunately, 
the nails, the screws, like the various bits and pieces that hold it all together are incredibly rusted and trying to undo them is just causing damage to it. The wood is also rotten and it just it's just breaking apart as we do it. So it doesn't really warrant the effort of taking it apart because it's not obviously our responsibility to skip it or anything like that. Uh, and if we can't take it apart safely and like securely, then there's no point because we won't be able to put it back up. So we're admitting defeat on this one and heading back home where it's time to open this bad boy. And one very quick assembly later. Let's see if it works. All right, let's hit the big button. Bloody hell, that's loud. Okay, well, the Hoover works. I'm not going to do that on camera because it's extremely loud. But just to showcase how powerful this thing is, this is what we looked like before. And this is what we looked like after. Cracking job. Not bad at all for like 50 quid. And now we are basically dust free in here. We've gone round and given the, the walls a bit of a Hoover as well to get as much off the walls as possible. Though no, that's not really that important. I think we're about ready to level the floor. Now, look have it, the floor actually is already spot on level. However, the way that they've kind of tamped the floor, it's kind of like grooved like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it anyway, just to give us a fresh surface and work it into all of the edges as well, just to kind of not seal the room. But in fact, it should give us a really nice finish in here. Now, because it's a garage, I don't need to worry about like laying lino down or anything like that. It's just to give us a cheap floor option, essentially. But doing this will future-proof it as well. All right, before we can start mixing and laying down the cement on the floor, the first thing we need to do is get a baton to run across here to stop it running out of the garage. And I'm just gonna secure that to the floor with a couple of screws marked out there. Next thing we need to do is using a roller, we just need to apply some primer to the floor. This just helps with adhesion for the concrete layer that's going down on top. And now that we have rolled all of that on, we just need to wait a little bit for it to start becoming tacky. Once it is actually sticky, we can actually start mixing up the self-leveling compound and pouring it on. Right, I think I'm about ready now. I've read the instructions thoroughly on the back of this bag, and we are going to be using four liters of clean water mixed with a full bag. I have a 25 liter plasterous bucket here. I've got my paddle mixer attached to a drill that I'm gonna kind of keep in there and keep clean in between mixes and all should be well. So uh, let's start mixing. Right, first thing we need to do is add the bag into our bucket. I'm hoping this isn't gonna be too dusty, but you never know. Okay, and then using our paddle mixer, Mix it in for about three minutes. Now that we have a nice consistency, it's got this bucket is heavy, we need to pour it onto the floor. Now it should find its own level, but using a trowel, I'm just going to encourage it into spaces that it might not find by itself. I'm not using a trowel to level the floor. I'm just using it to move it around so it ends up in the right place. Okay, it seems to be going down well. My only concern is, is this is one bag and I have calculated this and it should fill the whole room. But if you take a look, one bag is like a fifth of the room, if that. And I, I don't think I've got enough bags. Oh dear. We're gonna keep going and hope for the best. So with that in mind, let's run a time lapse. Now, as you may notice, it's a little darker over there than it is here. And that is because I either was one bag short or I didn't spread it properly on my first bag right at the end. I mean, it finds its own level anyway, so it should be fine. But three bags got me down to this end. And then I couldn't nip out and get any. So I used an extra bag that I had to finish the floor. Now, as far as I'm aware, it should be fine to use two different types here. Uh, the only difference is obviously going to be the color but worst case scenario if it looks terrible it like really bothers me later on i could just paint the floor anyway all in all however i think i did an all right job as i said it's like fairly idiot proof stuff anyway so i was probably going to struggle to mess it up but 
What, if one thing I would say is when, if I was to do this again with such a big surface is to get like almost like a bigger trowel. You can get trowels or like they're like squeegees on the end of a pole and that would have helped spreading it around because I don't know, it's, it's tiring using one arm just to spread it, but it's, it's honestly, it's genuinely very easy. Now it says on the bag that it should take two to four hours before it is basically trafficable. So we'll soon find out how it all settles and what it looks like dry. And the moment of truth. How are we looking? It's been about a week since I last put a coat down because I decided to come back and put another layer on top of all the same bag. Not because it looked different, but because uh, I didn't get a grinder to grind down some of the concrete floor where there was like humps in, the, in it and stuff like that. So now, if we get the level, it should be spot on level, which is beautiful. I also got some expanding foam because on my first attempt, uh, I actually noticed some like really big gaping holes in the corner. So I filled those in and packed them out with expanding foam so that I wasn't losing too much of the concrete mix down those holes. And that seems to have worked a treat. We now have a nice fresh floor in the garage. It looks a bit odd color wise. And I'm sure you can probably mop this floor and whatnot, but I have discovered as you can see by the footprints on the floor, that this is gonna get really dirty. So I may very well in the future come around and just roll a brand new uh, coat of paint on the floor just so it's nice and kind of shiny and easy to clean just because of how much mud is gonna get traipsed in here. But mission successful, we are now ready to uh, probably build the stud wall next to put the door frame in. Uh, before we batten all the walls up. I should probably remove this now. I think it should... Oh, I, don't, I don't know how I'm gonna get that out. I did wonder if I concreted it to the floor. This might call for a hammer. As it turns out, a pry bar worked a treat. We have now got the batten out. <laughs> Look at all of that. But all in all, I am happy with how this has turned out. It is nice to get a fresh level floor down so that I know when it comes to fitting in the walls and doing all that kind of stuff, that it's all gonna be on a level surface. This was surprisingly easy to do. I was a bit concerned at first, but you just pour it and it levels itself. And to do this space, it took me like an hour at most. Granted, I did it twice and like kind of learned to fill some holes in as I went and stuff like that. Maybe use some sealant in the future if you're doing it yourself. But I can lay any kind of flooring on this now in the future. I can paint it if I want to. It is primed and ready. To go. As I said in the next vlog, I'm actually going to be boxing this in now and uh, creating a stud wall here with a door frame in the middle. I have actually considered doing a different variety of doors, like a sliding door or like even a garage like rolling door. But because this door will never change, there's not really much point in me doing the door frame in the garage any differently from that. And we're just going to be storing household items in here, not like big sofas and stuff like that. So yeah, that is going to be saved for another vlog. If you've enjoyed this and you want to stay tuned in to when I am continuing on with the garage project, then make sure you do hit subscribe if you're new to my channel. And uh, ding dong that bell, it keeps you notified to when the vlogs go live. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up rain. I would genuinely appreciate it. It helps us reach those new subscribers and encourages more people that think, mm, can I do it, can I do it? If I can do it, you can most definitely do it. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun journey to get this room completed. There's a lot more stuff to do, but uh, I hope you uh, tune in to the next vlog to follow along. But as always, guys, it's been Orion. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, much love. Bye-bye.